Hey there, my name is Joel. In this video, I'm gonna do a comparison between these two drums. A comparison between two Ludwig Superphonics? What's the point? Well, they're not both Superphonics. That's the point. This is a Superphonic. This is my 1966 Superphonic. It is completely original. This is an earlier, I don't know exactly what year, but late 50s to early 60s, Super Ludwig, which was their flagship snare drum at the time. A 10 lug metal snare drum with the bead, Imperial lugs, P83 strainer, P32 butt, and a round knob muffler. A lot of people think that the baseball bat muffler came before the round knob muffler, and in a way it kind of did, but it also came after. They were using round knob mufflers before the early 60s when they then introduced the baseball bat muffler, which originally had red felt and then later white felt, and then it was later replaced with another round knob muffler, which they then made an even bigger knob on it later in the 70s and they continued using that design until they quit putting internal mufflers in their drums. The badge is a keystone badge, but it was before they started putting serial numbers on them, so you can't really date the drum and I don't see the date code on the inside of the thing. This one does have a serial number and it also has a date code, so I know that this is in 1966. The P83 and P32 on the Super Ludwig are stamped WFL, which is not unusual for the time, even though WFL became Ludwig in 1955. Ludwig had lots of parts that they had made already that were made up and machined with the WFL logo, and it took them a while to eventually switch over or maybe to go through all the parts and get them all used up before they then made new ones with the script Ludwig logo. This drum has the script Ludwig logo, but they are the same P83 and P32. They function exactly the same. A big difference between these two drums is the shell. This is a brass shell that is rolled and welded, whereas the Superphonic uses the Acoustiperfect shell. Is that what they called it? The Acoustiperfect shell? That they developed at the time that they introduced the Superphonic. And it is an aluminum alloy. And because of that aluminum alloy, the chrome tends to pit on these because chrome doesn't really like aluminum that much, uh, I understand. And so it's pretty common that the older ones definitely have pitting, and this has a lot of pitting. So it's not much to look at, but the drum is in perfect condition otherwise and is a beautiful player. It's the best sounding Supra I have ever owned. I really, really love this drum. There is a big weight difference. The brass Super Ludwig is about two and a half pounds, almost heavier than the Superphonic. The Super Ludwig has brass hoops, so no magnet sticks to the brass hoops, no magnet stick to the shell because it's brass. Whereas this has steel hoops, and the magnet sticks happily to the hoops on the Superphonic, but just for clarification's sake, they don't stick to the shell because the shell's aluminum and it doesn't have a magnetic reaction. So the magnet won't stick to a Superphonic shell because it's aluminum. And some people will not be able to get a magnet to stick and they'll go, oh, this drum must be brass. No, it's aluminum. No Superphonic is gonna have a magnet stick to it. Both drums, 10 lug, five by 14. All the hardware is the same except the muffler on both of these drums. Now for the comparisons, I used brand new Aquarian texture coated heads on the top and Aquarian classic clear snare side on the bottom. And I fitted both drums with 12 strand pure sound snares. The reason I use 12 strand snares is because the Super Ludwig has crimped snare beds and they are slightly deeper than the Superphonics and they are slightly narrower. Well, a little more than slightly. They are narrower than the Superphonics snare beds. So because you have a narrower bed here, you need narrower snares. So I'm using 12 strand instead of 20 strand, and therefore I'm using 12 strand on here. So both drums are outfitted with the same heads and the same wires. They have the same hardware complement. So you really get to see what the difference is between the brass, the heavy brass welded shell with crimped snare beds and the lighter aluminum seamless shell with formed beds. I'm not sure how they're formed, but it's part of the machining process, but crimped beds are kind of made by sort of having a controlled dent put in the side of the snare drum, and it sort of raises up that portion of the edge as a result. Ludwig, when they came out with the Acoustic Perfect shell for the Superphonic, Super Sensitive, and Acrolyte, uh, by the way, same shell for all three of those drums. I can go into more detail in another video if you're interested. But when they came out with that, they decided to go with a wider snare bed, shallower snare bed, and that really allows for a very broad tuning range with the Superphonic. The Superphonic really 
you can crank it up, you can tune it low. It's a very versatile drum as a result. The Super Ludwig is a little more vintage sounding, I believe because of the crimped snare beds that are a little narrower and slightly deeper. So it's a little more of a vintage tone to my ear, more reminiscent of drums of the 50s and 40s. Although it is a metal snare drum and is a tin lug, which puts it firmly in the modern category as well. Three tunings, basically a high tuning, a medium tuning, and a low tuning. Used a tune bot to make sure that all heads were absolutely identical. Each drum, I think, has certain, to my ear, strengths and weaknesses. I wish I owned them both, but I don't. I borrowed the Super Ludwig from my friend Brian David at Anthem Recording in Plano, Texas. He was kind enough to let me hang on to this thing for about a week. I thought I'd have it for a couple of days and I had it a bit longer. Sorry about that, Brian. But I thought it was a fun comparison. I enjoyed doing it and I hope it's educational and interesting to you superphonic lovers out there. And I appreciate you watching this video.